Thank you to everyone who's here this morning. We appreciate you attending uh, Aspire today. I know there's more people going to be wandering in. I think we had 40-something people signed up today, so I'm full expected the people are coming in. I heard well ago, myself coming in, that there was uh, like uh, one accident somewhere that had a 90-minute delay this morning. And Oof. somebody was laughing on the radio said, so why don't bother to come to work yet yeah, until lunchtime? You know? And uh, so it, you know, my, my comment to our people is, you know, it, it, welcome to Dallas. I mean, you know, and, uh, they, uh, but we appreciate you being here. Um, you know, we thought, uh, for most of you know, this is our 26 year in business. And so we're delighted. We couldn't have done it without everybody and all the different folks that, that participate in clients and, and referrals. And so we appreciate everybody attending. Um, you have some handouts in front of you this morning. Um, there's a placemat there, which is kind of different than what we normally do. We're not trying to tell you're messy eaters, okay, or anything, or we expect you to spill stuff. That is actually for you to use this morning as Dr. Shiro is, is going through his presentation and stuff. Um, you also have a CPE evaluation form there, so that if you, uh, you know, want CPE credit, please make sure and turn that in on your way out, and we'll get that for you uh, for, the, for the CPA. Um, also, there's an Aspire evaluation form that's there. Uh, please fill that out and return it to us if you have suggestions for topics. Um, we're looking in the spring now already because we're, we know what we're going to do in November. We won't do one in December or probably January and we'll pick back up. We're looking at something on cybersecurity uh, with somebody coming in to talk about that. And then also um, you know, some other, we're actually talking to the chamber and have them committed to have the North Dallas Chamber uh, come in and talk about Dallas and why, and where the city's going and what's happening to the whole DFW region and why we're experiencing what we are economically and the growth and stuff that we're having. Um, one other reminder, there are copies of the videos and stuff that you see, um, and you see us doing the video today, but there are copies of those on our website. Uh, we have a whole library there of different topics, and we break them down into smaller pieces so you don't have to listen to the whole event. So if there are things you want to uh, watch or go back or hear or share with someone, you know, please feel free to let us know. Um, today's speaker is Dr. Philip Shero from Masterminds Leadership. Um, I had the opportunity to meet him a number of months ago and was really intrigued by what he does in terms of you know, working with relationships. He and I were talking about this morning that a lot of times the numbers are easier to work than the people are easier to get to work. And, and so that's part of what he's going to talk about this morning is how to deal with some of the issues that go on in the workplace. I'll let him introduce himself and we appreciate you coming this morning. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, Greg. We appreciate it. Good morning, everyone. Before we get into this morning's topic, uh, let me offer a few words uh, of thanks and also introduce myself. Uh, I recently came across a quote that said, um, good leaders are, are measured by the number of followers that they create, but great leaders are measured by the number of leaders they create. And I want to thank Greg Hex for being the kind of leader who contributes uh, and invests in the creation of more leaders. Um, I also think that Ryan Goss deserves our, our thanks and appreciation for making Aspire the professional and valuable institute that it is uh, here in Dallas. Um, this is my second time to, to be over here. I was very impressed this spring when I, when I came to the first event. Um, I also want to say uh, that I'm grateful to each of you who made a deliberate and purposeful effort to be here at Aspire this morning. Uh, there's so many opportunities that press for our attention, uh, but, but you m made the evaluation that, that this one was likely to bring a better return on the first Wednesday of Q4 than uh, the other things that you could have put on your calendar. Uh, so I appreciate you being here. And my aim is that by the time you leave, you feel confident that you've made a good investment of your morning. Um, as I begin, uh, I'll just I'll introduce myself briefly. Uh, 20 years ago, I went to Africa for the first time. Now, mind you, I, I had no intention of staying, but I thought it would be a fascinating place to visit. Um, my plan was to return from that trip, uh, continue my education, and become a professor and work with college students. Um, instead, uh, 
we ended up moving to Uganda, East Africa in 1998 and staying for 15 years, um, which, which was not part of, of my life strategy, uh, but, it, but it was an amazing, amazing experience. During the first seven years of that time, my passion for developing leaders found um, its humble expression working in rural areas with people that on average had a second grade education. In the second half of our time, uh, I was privileged to lead a team that, belt, that built and launched a new four-year fully accredited university. Um, and I still consider it one of the chief honors I've received that I got to serve as president for the first few years of that university's life. Um, today, uh, since we've returned to the U.S. in uh, 2013, the first two classes of students have graduated. Um, this fall, 200 students enrolled and are now on campus. Uh, I'm, I'm very, very proud of the young leaders that are developing to make an impact in, in their society, students from seven different countries. Um, since since I've, I've come back to the U.S., those experiences uh, in developing and launching university and my continuing education, a, um, a doctorate in organizational leadership, serve to enrich and inform the work that I do with CEOs and senior management teams as they work to create cultures that outperform the competition because they're led with excellence. And so what I want to talk to you about this morning is about uh, leadership, but specifically leadership in conflict. Now, when we designed the content for this Aspire uh, Leaderships event, we specifically had in mind those of you that work in companies made up of people. So if you're into Bitcoin mining or you print your own money at home, then an executive session on conflict may not be useful to you. Uh, but for the rest of us, we have to wrestle with the reality that a company with people is a company with conflict. Um, it's, it's all around us and it's unavoidable. So why are we here today? We're here because conflict is costly. Uh, this, is a, this is a room of, of primarily financial leaders and I want us to think about and add up the costs that conflict creates in organization. It costs us our time. It costs us our, our mental energy. It costs us lost opportunities. It costs us access to the best talent, who, by the way, will not tolerate a toxic culture. Uh, it costs us ruined working relationships and lost friendships. And frankly, it costs us a lot of money. And we'll attempt to quantify that a little bit later. Um, so when we look at, at the cost uh, of conflict, I believe it's, it's worth our time, it's worth our, our effort to think about how to do this better. Um, in, my, in my work internationally as well as here in the U.S., I've discovered three sets of factors that influence whether or not you will escape from a recurring cycle of destructive conflict. So these three sets of factors include six relational dynamics. It includes five structural inhibitors. And then finally, there are three interpersonal blockers. And what we're going to do this morning is focus our attention on one of the interpersonal blockers. Uh, but at the end of this presentation, I'll offer an opportunity to go over all of the factors in greater detail in a bespoke conflict analysis session. Um, to set this morning's focus factor in context, let's, let's briefly review all, all of these, and I've, it, you'll see it in your, in your handout. We'll be able to work through that. Um, and first of all, uh, if you're on the side that has the conflict analysis map, uh, this is, it's all filled in on, on your place map, but up here you can see the map. And I'd like to direct your attention to the roadways uh, between all of the signs. So, so look at the roadways there. Each roadway is labeled with one of the six relational dynamics. And these are the paths, or should I say the ruts, that we, get, uh, we tend to get stuck in that continue our cycle of conflict. So those are all uh, filled in there and, and on your placemat. 